Hey guys, it's Alex here, and we are here today to talk about my greatest ever Football Manager striker. Uh, he was on my Football Manager 15 save. He has just recently retired, and he has got over 2,000 total goals. Uh, this He's incredible. Uh, so this is going to be the story of Florentino. Okay, so here is Florentino, fresh-faced as a 16-year-old. This is literally 15 days into his his spawning in our career. He started off in Getafe's youth system, but because we are affiliates, he joined us, uh, and I knew from the start he'd be good. Apparently, his potential ability reads a bit lower here, but when he first joined, it said he was one of the best players of a generation uh, and that really got me excited, especially when I saw he's a model professional as well. Incredible stuff. He's got some good attributes already, 15 finishing and first touch already. He's got some good mentals, which are really key, uh, but plays as an attacking midfielder. So I'm going to train him as a striker. Uh, he scored on his debut, to be fair. He got came off the bench um, in a 2-2 draw and got a penalty. So he will be on penalties. I will tell you that right now. Um, but let us see how well he can do. We will go four years into the future to when he's 20 years old and see how he does from there. Okay, we are four years later in 2217 now and Florentino is 20. And as you can see, I think he's just come off an injury, so uh, a few of the those are going down. As you can see, he has developed incredibly well. Finishing in first up, up to 18 and 17, his mentals increasing, his physicals increasing. He is developing into an incredible play. He's already got 20 goals in 29 appearances for Spain. And if we look at his stats, he has gone off. He's got 200 league goals already at the age of 20. Um, he scored five in his first, it is in just half a season uh, from when he spawned in. And then his first full season, we went, you're starting every game as a 17-year-old. He scored 38 in 31 games in the league, 55 and 51 in total. Next year, even better, 44 in 32, 78 in 55 in total. And then the third season in, so he was about 19 at this point, eight, I think he was 18, he breaks the record for the most goals in a league season. The old record was 54, set by Gaspar Baronuevo, who is a former Spanish youth striker that came through Afrodita when I was managing them. Um, but he scored 55 in 32 games. 88 in 55 in total, incredible, and then 44 in 30 the next year with 72 in 48 in total, and then this year we're halfway through, he's already got 14 in 9 and 24 in 14 in total, so he is doing incredibly, incredibly well, he's winning a lot of things as well, he's obviously winning um, well player, not well player of the years, uh, most goals in a, in a year, uh, but he actually has. That was a little teaser. He has just won the World Golden Ball in 22-16 as a 20-year-old with 69 goals in 51 games and 20 assists. Um, World Player of the Year, he's also won it twice. He won it at 19 and then also at 20, um, which is incredible. In Europe, he's done pretty well uh, in the European Awards. He won the Best Player in Europe at 19. Um, he also won the European Golden Boy three years in a row as an 18, a 19, and a 20-year-old. And, of course, he's winning the Golden Shoe four years in a row. He won the Golden Shoe at age 17 with 38 goals in 31 games. There's not many people that can claim to have done that. And then, obviously, has won it every year since. So he has done extremely well so far. And we're only four years into his career uh, the next point we're going to go to is we're going to go to when he is 25, so five years in the future. So we'll be back for that. Okay, we are here five years later, 22-22. Uh, Florentino has hit 25. He's got 42 goals in 75 appearances for Spain. Uh, and his stats are looking good. They haven't really increased too much more. His stats have actually gone down in finishing in first touch, which is interesting. I think he probably peaked early, but... His uh, attributes and his contributions have not gone down uh, since the uh, since last time. He scored 48 in 32 in total, uh, 88 in 55 in total. He then went on to score 54 goals, which was matching the old record, but not his new record in 32 games, and 97 uh, across all competitions in a league season in 56 games. He then went and smashed it 
60 goals in 32 games in a league season. Nearly an average of a go- two goals every game. And he broke the 100 barrier in a single season. 104 goals in 54 appearances. Incredible scenes. 8.53 average rating. Um, he then went and scored 47 in 32, uh, which is apparently not a good season for him. Uh, 76 goals in 57 games total. And then in this recent season, he's just hit 57 goals, which is the second most behind. He's basically got the um, first, second, third and fourth most goals in a season now um, in 31 games and 96 in total and a highest ever average rating of 8.62. So, yeah, he's done very, very well. Um, world achievements wise, if we look at the awards, yeah, he's he's won the world golden ball uh, five times now. Um, so he won it the first time, and then he won it in twenty one, at twenty two, at twenty three, twenty four. So he got eighty two goals, ninety eight goals, ninety seven, nearly break the hundred in a calendar year, eighty eight, and then he just lost it to his own teammate. He still got eighty four and came second. Um, then world player of the year, it's a similar situation, uh, except he's won it six times. Uh, and Raphael Dupont beat him out to it at the end. Both youth in, uh, players coming through at Havertz West, very very nice. If we look at Europe, um, award winning, he just lost. It. He's not. He doesn't do as well as best player in Europe. He's only won it twice. Uh, Raphael Dupont has sort of a stranglehold on this for some reason. Um, but European Golden Boy, he did win it a fourth time at the age of 21, and then obviously he's no longer eligible anymore. But the Golden Shoe, he refused to give that up. He got obviously a score of 120 um in that season where he scored 60 so he is very very much on the way to just well he's already a global superstar um but let's go another five years to when he is 30 uh because now 30 that is the prime years um probably the middle of your prime years maybe towards the end as a striker um but let us see what it's like in five years Okay, it is 22-27 now, and Florentino is 30, and at this time already has 133 caps for Spain with 65 goals, so nearly a goal every other game for Spain. He does a lot better for us. Uh, His stats are still decreasing a little bit in his technicals, but mentals, they're just increasing. Um, This should be his prime years, uh, and let's see how he's done in the last five years. So... He has just absolutely smashed it, to be completely honest. The season after the 58, he goes and does it. A goal every other game. No, sorry, not a goal every other game. The other way around. Two goals every game. An average of two goals a game. 64 goals in 32 games in the league. And overall, he gets 112 goals in 56 games in all competitions. So also two goals a game in that it's on it's, oh it's it's better than Messi. it's ridiculous next season he gets 53 which is uh, much less uh, and 87 in to- in all the competitions 53 the next year but 99 in all competitions then 59 uh in 32 league games and 92 and then recently 55 in 32 and 106 in total so just absolutely ridiculous to be fair the 64 one is i don't think i'll ever see anything like it to be honest he was just ridiculous how often he scored it was hat tricks everywhere it's a it's if he if he didn't score i'd be like oh my god what's what's going on what's happening um if we look at his is the awards wise obviously he's done incredible he's won the uh well, Golden Ball many a time. He lost it somehow. He scored 96 goals in a, a calendar year and and lost, apparently. Um, but obviously, Dupont's retired, so he sort of started to start win again. He finally broke 100 goals in a calendar year, 103 in 55 games. Then got 104, so did one better. Then back down to 88. 104 again, breaks it again at 29. And then 30, only got 96. So apparently, that's not worth uh, a Golden Ball. Well, Player of the Year... Obviously, it's the same thing. One another four. Um, very, very good. Well, Team of the Year, obviously, was in a lot. Um, and then we go to Europe. Go to the awards. Uh, after Rafael Dupont retired, he can just become best player in Europe. So, 97 goals, 110 goals in a calendar year. 87, 99, 92, 105. I know that calendar year. This is just overall. So, 
yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, Golden Boy, not anymore. But Golden Shoe, it's not It's not about voting. It's just amount of goals scored. And obviously, 64, it's the highest ever score. Uh, well, he has the highest ever scores. So he beat Messi's record of 100. He didn't beat the record for goals, though. Ferenc Dijk in 1945-96 apparently got 66 goals. Age unknown. I need to have a look at this. Um, but to be fair, it's a lot harder when you've only got 32 games to do it. Uh, um, if it was a Premier League season, if he got two, he'd be up at 76 goals. So um, it'd be it'd be different then. But unfortunately, wasn't able to get the most ever goals. He's up there. They beat William Dean. Um, these are all sort of pre-war numbers, basically. Joe the Bican there as well. Like the only player that that's recent there is Gaspar Barinovo, who had the old record of 54, and then all the way down here is Lionel Messi uh, with 50 goals, and then actual people that you know, um, Alessandro Pellegrini, a San Marino striker. We'll do a video about him potentially, um, but yeah, Florentino is is ridiculous. So let's go another five years. Will he retire by this point? Will he not? He'll be 35 if he doesn't retire. Let's see if he can continue this goal-scoring form well into his 30s. Okay, we are in 22-32, and Florentino is now 35 years old. Uh, as you can see, his attributes, his technical attributes, are declining rapidly, but his mentals are just getting better and better, and his physicals are holding up well. He has 176 appearances for Spain and 93 goals. He, I think he wants to get to 100. Um, let's see if his stats have held up. Uh, yes, that that's a very simple answer. Um, the season after he turned 30, he turned 31, he went one better than he did before. He scored 65 goals in 32 games, breaking his record and getting a better than two in one, uh, two goals in one game average. An 8.78 average rating as well. 110 in total in 56 games. So not as good in the competition, but league-wise, the best ever. And then the next season, he got 62 in 32. So nearly double to get the same thing. And then got 108 in 56. 57 in 32 with 100 goals in 57. 51 uh, in 32 with 89 in 56 and then this season we're only a little way through well we're in February he's got 41 in 23 and 67 in 38 total so he's already he's, he, this this is the year he breaks a thousand goals in the league a thousand goals in 595 games incredible um, if we look at world uh, events world awards let's have a look he he's done very well. Um, he obviously lost to Latmec there, but he's won it the next four years. Obviously, he got 102 goals, then 115 goals in a in a calendar year, then 98, 95, and then he lost it out. He didn't. He wasn't even in the running this year, which is a bit weird. World Player of the Year, similar situation. wasn't even in the running this year, but did the similar thing. Um, if we go to Europe, go to the awards. He didn't win it the last year. He won it the for three years though 105 110 and 108 and then just wasn't in the running anymore i think they've decided that he's too old for the, the awards unfortunately um but if we go to sh the golden shoe definitely not unfortunately he doesn't break the record of 66 he's got he's got 65 though 64 62 60 59 58 57 55 twice and then another 54 so and score wise, obviously, he is is just ridiculous. It he's won it too many times to count. Um, so let's keep going and see when he retires. Where how many goals will he get to? Let's see. Okay, we are here in twenty two thirty nine. Uh, I don't actually have the year he retired. He retired, age forty in twenty two thirty seven, after twenty four twenty five years at Havertz West. Um, he's now head of youth development. He ended up retiring with 176 caps and 93 goals, so not breaking the 100. Um, but he he continued on with us for another five years after um, after scoring. Like he, his, his rates did go down at this point. Um, he got 40 goals in 32 games, 70 in total. 
then down to 36. He had an injury-ridden season in this year. Uh, 36 goals in 26 games, 59 in total. 31 in 32. First time ever is under a goal a game average. Um, when I think that was the first time ever in a full season he had less goals than appearances in the league and 44 in total. And then 39 years old, uh, 24 in 30, 58 in 52. He did run it back in the Cups. And then his final year, he said, nah, I'm not having a less goal uh, goal to game ratio. 32 and 32, 59 and 56, ending with a 1,180 goals in 756 appearances. Incredible scenes. Um, if we look at his achievements, they are ridiculous. He didn't win any more World Player of the Years, I don't think, or Golden Shoes, but he did keep winning the Golden uh, the Golden Shoe. So we are at his biography now. Florentino Granados, or just Florentino, 27 years, 756 periods, 1,180 goals. Um, he 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 won a lot with us. He won many many Premier Leagues. Um, he retired at age 40. Um, personally, he was the the Welsh Premier League top goal, goal scorer 23 times. Won the Golden Shoe, if we look at the Golden Shoe here, 22 times. He didn't win it too many times in the last few seasons, um, but still got a few more out there. Uh, 22 times, which is mental. Uh, absolutely crazy um, to, to have this level uh, of consistency throughout your entire career. From, from 16, pretty much, to, well, 38. And then for the last two years, he still was getting a goal a game average, which is, is incredible rates for a striker um, at 40 years old. Like, I think I don't think even Ronaldo can ask to do that sort of stuff. He, he's getting up that to that sort of level, um, but he won't be there, be there yet. Um, but Florentino was a different level. I've kind of, we nearly got him to our new stadium, but here we go. Yeah. Um, well, Club World Championship best player on eleven times, obviously European Golden Boy four times, um, Welsh Premier League T Player of the Year on ten occasions, only ten, which is crazy. European Cup Golden Boot nineteen times, World Golden Ball on thirteen times, World Player of the Year fourteen times, Champions League best player on seven, and then best player in Europe in ten times. So uh, he was something else. He's he's, he's a Haver for West le legend. Um and hopefully goes on to have a long staff career. Not not the best staff, not the best staff. But let us look at um the spreadsheet that I created to show how many goals in total he got. Okay, so here we are with the spreadsheet for total goals. I do need to change that one actually because this is wrong. I, I miss I miscounted. There we go. This shows how many goals in all competitions so we've got our league appearances we've got appearances in the league in the cup and continental we've got goals in the league goals in the cup continental and then obviously just assists just to add them in there uh, as well in the league the cup and the continental as you can see he started with a total of seven goals in six games then we went up to 55 in 53 78 88 then we had our best ever run in the cup he got 24 goals in the cup in eight games that's an average of three goals a game in the cups obviously you're playing non-league clubs so that kind of gets boosted uh 22 19 20 was his first time with over 104 goals total and this is when he hit 60 his best ever continental was 32 goals in 62 games this was obviously the season this was he it was even everywhere he got th 64 goals in 32 league games 16 goals in eight cup games and 32 goals in 16 continental games. Um, then, as you can see, 17, 17, 53, 87, 99, 92, 106, 110 when he scored 65 uh, in the league. Didn't get as many um, in the in the uh, in the uh, continental. And then 108, 189, 17. So his total, his best ever total was 112 in that season, where it was two goals a game average. His assists, he never really got that many assists. 
Uh, he got double digit assists a couple of times. He got 13 assists one year, which was pretty good. Not many in the cup. He got 11. This this year was a very good year for assists. He got 29 assists and 106 goals. So probably one of the better um, goals and assists record. But if you look here towards the bottom, 1,317 games uh, played. 2,032 goals scored. He got 497 goals continentally. 355 in the domestic cups, 193 assists in the league overall, 80 assists in the cup, and 105 assists uh, continentally to make it 370 assists. So, 2,210 um, goals and assists in 1,317 games. He truly is just the best ever striker I've ever seen. He's incredible. The funny thing is, he's not even that that good. Of a of a of like a, attributes wise, he wasn't good attributes wise. He's just pure grit and determination. Um, he was something else. He he really was. Um, and it, it's sad to see him go. He never. He, we he was two years off of our new stadium being built and playing in the hundred thousand seater Moor Park. But I will always remember him, and potentially we can find someone someday who will be able to beat this record. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little retrospect on my greatest ever striker to hit 2,000 goals. Um, we'll probably be making a few more of these sort of types of videos on old players. I might do my best 11s. Um, maybe make one on that San Marino striker. Maybe make me one on Gaspar Barrio Nuevo, uh, the original Spanish youth intake striker. We will see. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been Alex, and I'll see you guys next time.